Hello, good evening. On our journey to discuss and prepare adequately in biology paper 2, the following video will then comprise a question about specialization of cells. Specifically, this is a question from 2017 final exam. And this is section A, where we're going to find five composer equations with diagrams. So let's see how best you can attempt this. Follow closely and ensure you are able to get the particular concepts that are bound to be discussed. Let's begin. Answer all questions in the spaces provided on the question paper. Figure 1.0 shows some specialized cells and then you have P, Q and R. So we're going to find that this is a nucleus. And then this is an elongated structure. So we're going to find that this is an elongated structure. Then we're going to find that this one is biconcave disc shaped. Then this one is specifically the structure of a cell that is found in the leaves. So name each of the cells above. For cell labeled P, because of the elongated structure, then this is suitable to be found inside a plant. And then this is going to be called, that is a, a root hair cell. So our answer here is root hair cell. Then we continue on Q. This is biconcave disc shaped, as we can observe from the diagram. So this is going to be called a red blood cell. Then we have this one, which is here. We're going to find that when answering this one, we can look at the question which is here. Where in the leaf is cell R located? So we're going to find that the diagram that we have here is that of a plant cell, specifically a palisade cell. So we're going to find that here we are just going to say plant cell. Then B, Roman number one, state the functions of cells P and Q. So we're going to find that the root hair cell is suitable to ensure that it is being able to, to absorb mineral salts and water, which then are going to further be of use to the xylem and the phloem. So on COP, are going to say it absorbs, it absorbs water and mineral sorts from the ground so it absorbs water and mineral sorts from the ground the function of cell q this is a red blood cell it traps it traps and transports it traps and transports oxygen to all parts of the body. So it traps and transports oxygen to all parts of the body. Then to explain the adaptations of COP and Q to their function. We're going to find that when giving this answer, it's more like you're trying to support what you have just recently given as an answer. We said it absorbs water and mineral salts from the ground. How is this function efficient? It's because it has an elongation, which is able to dig deep into the ground, thereby absorbing water and mineral salts. So on the adaptation of P, we are going to say it has an elongation suitable for absorption of water. So you can say it has an elongation 
which is suitable for absorption of water. Then adaptation of Q, we're going to find that the red blood cell of, of an adaptation of containing a pigment which is called hemoglobin, which helps to trap. So I'm going to say it contains hemoglobin. It contains hemoglobin, which traps oxygen. It contains hemoglobin, which traps oxygen. Where in the leaf is cell ARA located? So we're going to find that this is found in the body seed cell. Or body seed tissue. So I hope we found the video very beneficial. So these are the three specialized cells where we have the first one, which has an elongation, a labeled P. This should be a root hair cell. The second one should be a red blood cell. The other one should be a plant cell. Then functions, it absorbs water and mineral salts from the ground. Functions of cell Q, it traps and transports oxygen to all parts of the body. Then adaptations, enabling function. The function of cell P is that it has an elongation suitable for absorption of water. Adaptation of cell Q, it contains hemoglobin, which traps oxygen. Keep a positive attitude towards your academics regardless and be able to believe that you can simply be able to do it. Otherwise, have a good night and be able to revise before you sleep. Most importantly, don't forget to pray. Goodbye.